Today we'll be talking about Ansible Lint. Ansible Lint is a linter, which instead of analyzing code, will analyze our Ansible playbooks, which are just YAML. The purpose of linters in general is to improve the quality and consistency of code, making them more readable, maintainable, and error-free. So after I've installed Ansible Lint, I can just run ansible-lint on the command line. And here I'm doing it in Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna run through how to fix each of these errors or best practices that it's trying to adhere to. So the first one is that I don't have a FQCN or fully qualified collection name. So to fix that, I can just put in ansible.built in here. And this is gonna make sure that we don't have conflicts in the future. It also says on line 12, debug here, it's down one, because this is together, is it also has the same problem if I can spell. And then this one, and I think we got them all, but we will see. The next one is truthy values. So there's a bunch of different ways we can do truth values within YAML, like yes, no, for the on, off. Here I have yes, and I have a mix of no. And best practices, or the default practices within it, want false and true with a lowercase. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. And the next one we see in here is trailing spaces. And this is one that's really easy to miss. So it says line 19, and you can see I have invisible characters showing, but even there, it's hard to see and I can kind of zoom in and you'll see that you'll see that one little space. So I'm gonna go boop boop and fix that. <laughs> Sorry for the sound effects. And then there's a new, no new line at the end of file is this one on line 25. So I'm just gonna do return and remove the dead space there. And we'll see if we got it all. We run Ansible Lint and we see we have one name casing, moderate idiom. All names should start with a, a uh, uppercase letter. So we'll go up to 17. And we'll say that this display should be capital D display. Restart Ansible Lint, and we are golden. We're in production profile. So that's really, really cool. Now this entire playbook is best practices, and it will pass tests when you try to upload it to Ansible Galaxy or Automation Hub or try to get it into the validated content program. Thanks, and Happy New Year.